Hello everyone, Bob here. Today I'm going to continue my series where I list my top 10 favorite horror films from each decade. This week we're going to take a look at the 90s and there were several uh, horror films from this decade that I enjoyed. So uh, let's get started. Lake Placid is a giant monster movie in which a giant 30 foot crocodile uh, terrorizes a town called Black Lake. Maine. Uh, the film stars uh, Bill Pullman, Bridget Fonda, Brendan Gleeson, Oliver Platt, and they all turn in fun performances and it's about um, th these attempts to uh, kill the crocodile. It's, it's just a fun movie to watch. I the Night of the Living Dead remake, in my opinion, is one of the better horror remakes that have come out. Tom Savini directed this and it's I had fun watching this. I know it's one of those movies that people either love or they hate, but I enjoyed it. It follows the story pretty closely to how the original goes, although there are some differences. Um, if you're a zombie fan or a horror fan from the 90s, I very much recommend checking this one out. Tremors is a fun movie. Um, if you watch the list of movies that um, Dad and I watch a lot, Tremors is one of them you'd find on that list. Uh, Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward uh, work in this town called Perfection, Nevada, and these monsters that are eventually named Graboids uh, hunt people by their size, the, their movement, basically, because they feel the vibrations every time people take a step or whatever. They come up out of the ground and they pull you in. It's a fun movie to watch. Uh, Michael Gross as the... Um, he has, is very well armed, I'll put it that way. He is a survival nut, and the whole, the cast works, everything works in this movie. It's one of those classic B, classic B movies that's an absolute joy to watch. While technically not a movie, uh, Stephen King's It is a miniseries. Uh, two parts of it were directed by Tommy Lee Wallace. Uh, this adaptation was my introduction to uh, Stephen King. And uh, the first half dealing with the kids is much uh, better than the second half, sort of like how the movies from this decade turned out. Uh, I enjoyed this this movie from front to end, and uh, it's I watched it a lot, and it was a staple growing up. The faculty plays on what is perhaps every kid's fear: their teachers are monsters. And uh, the film stars Elijah Wood, uh, Josh Hartnett, uh, Usher, Famke Jensen, uh, John a blank, sorry. But Jordana Brewster is another one's in this. But uh, it's a Kevin, Kevin Williamson wrote the screenplay to this, and uh, it does a good job of um, giving the teachers the creep factor. And uh, I guarantee you that a lot of kids that watch this in the 90s uh, had to look at their teachers uh, a little bit differently after watching it the first time. Wes Craven's New Nightmare is a very interesting take on the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Wes Craven returns and directs for the first time since the original. And it's takes place, it's a unique idea that um, the story has ended because of course we had Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and the movie follows a, um, what's a fictionalized version of Heather Langenkamp, and uh, it's like it follows her life and how the character's trying to come out into the real world now that the movie can't contain the uh, evil that is Freddy Krueger since the series ended. It's a fun movie. It is definitely an interesting approach to the uh, Freddy franchise. And Silence of the Lambs is one of those movies that everything works together quite well. And if one aspect of it were changed, I'm not sure the movie would work as well as a whole. Uh, Anthony Hopkins is Hannibal Lecter. Jodie Foster is Clary Starling. The film just works. Jonathan Demme did a wonderful job directing it. The atmosphere and the mood, it all fits and makes a for a, a very good uh, hunt for the uh, serial killer Buffalo Bill. I highly recommend this one as well. 
Another Stephen King adaptation to make this list, uh, Misery. Kathy Bates' performance in this is excellent and worth the watch alone. Uh, the story is about uh, Paul Sheldon, who is a writer, and he has a wreck, and uh, Kathy Bates' character, Annie Wilkes, uh, kidnaps him after the, from the wreck and takes him back to her place and nurses him back to health, but she won't ever let him leave. The hobbling scene, for those of you that have seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's one of those scenes you can never unsee. It's excellent all the way around. And like I said, Kathy Bates' performance alone is worth the watch. Because after all, he didn't get out of the cock a duty car. Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs might not be the first movie you think of when you think about his, his movies, but it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, it follows these guys that live in the slums of, uh, I can't remember where, where it is, I think it's in California, Los Angeles probably, but um, they try to break into these uh, rich people's house and the rich people are, uh, they think they're husband and wife, but they're really brother and sister. And they have gone around kidding these brother and sister have gone around kidnapping these kids and they keep them when some some one of them acts up, they lock them in the basement and they become the people under the stairs and uh they're uh they run the kid runs around in the walls trying to stay away from them. And it's it's one of those movies that's fun. Everett McGill makes this movie. And it's something that if you haven't seen, I highly recommend you do. It's one of Wes Craven's finest. So in my opinion, the best horror film of the 1990s is Scream, and it's not even close. This self-aware horror film um, referenced a lot of the horror movies, all, all of them actually, that, that I had seen at that point. And the film is basically made for people, horror film junkies like me. There are so many references, and once in a while I'll, I'll find one that I didn't notice before. Uh, I did see this one in the theater uh, uh, about a month ago now, actually, and uh, I noticed things on the big screen then that I hadn't before. This film, while it's the third film on this list that Wes Craven directed, this will always be one of my favorites of his, and definitely my favorite one. Of the, when I think of 90s or Scream is what I think about. Of course, uh, my favorite horror film of all time is... Uh, Halloween. So a little bit of a spoiler there of what's coming when we get to the 70s, but there's enough references to that. It gets brownie points. Okay, guys, that was my list of top 10 favorite horror films of the 1990s. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite horror films from that decade were. Uh, if you enjoyed the content of this video, please give me a like. Please subscribe to this channel. I try to have new content daily. Doesn't always work out, but that's my goal. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Just search for Bob the Film Guy. Stay safe, everyone. And for now, this is Bob signing off.